you to photograph a rain sweat and natural. And this video I'll be showing how you can easily color grade skin tone faster and get uniform skin tones in your photos using just actions. So let me first of all show you how this is going to work and later on show you how you can build up and create this action in Photoshop to speed up your color grading process and have uniform skin tones in your images. So this is the action that I've created and I'll just come and play it and it's going to automatically invert this. Just come and get the brush tool. Make sure you have black and white on these two colors or you can press D on the keyboard to have black and white. So with white on top, I'll just come and start painting on the skin just like that. And I'm using opacity and the flat 100% for the brush settings. So I just come and paint on just uh, the skin just like that. And you can see just by doing this, the skin is now looking uniform. So if I told you make a mistake, switch the brush back to white, to black rather. Reduce on the size and you can erase out the extras that you have painted as you're trying to paint on the skin. And just like that, you have been able to color grade the skin. Just like that. Erase it from the lips and the eyes. And just like that, we are done color grading the skin. And this is the before after. If at all it is too much, you can come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking. So I'll just come and delete this so that we can understand how we can create such an action within Photoshop. So in order to create the action within Photoshop, you always have to make sure that you have the action window open by simply coming to window and making sure that the actions option is turned on. So this is the action panel right here. We usually have history and actions. So in order to create an action, always make sure that you first of all create a folder where the action is going to be placed. So I'm just going, I'm just going to name this two skin action just like that skin actions and i'll simply hit ok and after pressing ok just come to this plus icon or the new uh, new action icon right here and simply left click on it and it's going to open up this and you can rename the action to maybe skin tones skin tones tutorial just like that and after renaming the action, you can now include it in our set. And you can as well assign a shortcut for the action. And you can as well assign a color. Let me just choose red. And I'll simply hit record. So in order to record this action successfully, you're going to come to our adjustments and come to gradient map. I have done videos about this before. But if I told you I haven't watched those, let me just go through all the process. I just come and click on the gradient icon and make sure I come right here to the layer and select the gradient icon right here. So I've selected gradient map and it has opened up this. So come and select the gradient icon and hide this. Come and left click on the color and sample colors from this very skin tone of the model. So I'll just come and simply click on the darkest point of the skin, left click on the color and zoom into. And now click on the darkest point of the skin tone, hit OK, single click on the brightest point right here, left click once again on the color option, and choose the brightest point of the skin. So this is the brightest point of our skin in this case. Hit OK, click in the middle and make sure the location is set to 50. And now left click on the color option and click on what you feel is the mid-tone color and hit OK. And after doing that, you can see it has mapped the colors from the skin tone. I'll just come and hit OK once again. Come and now activate this option or this layer and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way to color. Come and select the gradient layer right here, the layer mask, and simply press Ctrl I on the keyboard. Or you can use Command I on the keyboard. Then I'll have to come and select the brush tool. This is the normal brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to 0%. Soft round brush is selected. Opacity and flat 100%. Make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. Or reset and have black and white on these color swatches. Press D on the keyboard. And just like that, after doing this process, just come and stop recording the action. And you can see everything that I've been doing on the image as you're trying to color grade has been recorded as part of this action so i'll just come and simply close the action and it is just right there 
So I just want to see if at all the action is going to work. So I'll just come and delete this layer right there. And I'll just come to my action right here. Make sure it is selected. And simply left click on the play button. And just like that, I can now come and paint on only the skin of the model. So if at all you have a couple of photos that you want to work on faster and quickly in Photoshop, you can do this kind of process by using just actions. And this is going to make your process faster regarding evening out of skin tones within Photoshop. So I'm just painting on the skin. And if at all I paint extras, I'll just switch the brush back to black right here. Reduce on the size by using the bracket key on the keyboard. And I'll just come and erase add extras from uh, this very image or the areas i may have accidentally painted as i was trying to color grade the skin tone just like that erase it from the lips and the eyes to reveal the original makeup so if at all you feel it is too much you can always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity of uh, the color grading so this is the before after before after so let's try it on the second image so this is the second image I just come and play the action in my brush tool selected and white as the foreground color right here i'll simply increase on the size and just paint on the skin and just like that you can notice with just a few seconds we are now getting a uniform skin tone for our model right here so just paint on only uh, the skin and if i told you paint extras you can as well come and erase the extras by switching the brush back to black or you can use this arrow key or you can use x on the keyboard reduce on the size and simply erase uh, the extras that you may have painted that are not part of the skin and also you can reveal the original makeup of your subject so just like that we are now so just be careful with this process you don't want to paint and leave those extras because they don't look fine so you can now come to the opacity and reduce the opacity to your liking. So this is the before, after, before and after. And just like that, you can easily color grade a number of photos with just a few minutes. And this is going to save you a lot of time as a photographer. So if at all you want to save your action and store it somewhere else, make sure you, se you select the folder in which the action is belonging. Click on this hamburger icon and come to save action right here and save the action wherever you want to save it and hit save so next time you want to open the, the action back into photoshop double click on the action and it's going to open automatically within photoshop so this is it for this video and if i told you i've loved this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if i told you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.